Hi, welcome to my channel and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Today I bring a topic about roller coaster ride, continuous for citizen insurance. Barry Gilway, president and CEO of Citizen Property Insurance Corp, said Wednesday the state backed insurer has been a roller coaster ride for the past two decades. Right now, it is continuing to pick up speed. Citizen last week reached 1,055 million policies, more than double the number two years ago, as private insurers drop customers to try to curb financial losses. Meanwhile, the industry continues to grapple with underlying problems, including costs of critical reinsurance and large amounts of claims related litigations. Gilway briefed the Citizen Board of Governors during a meeting Wednesday and said private property insurers are projected to have $1 billion in losses this year. Five insurers have been declared insolvent and placed into receivership since February, with tens of thousands of customers of those companies turning to citizens for coverage. If the financial numbers remain in the red, and also companies are put in a position where they are making a reasonable rate of the return you are not going to have a stable market gilway said aside from all of that things a key issue for the market is reinsurance which provides backup coverage for couriers it is particularly important in florida which depends on heavily on Florida based insurers rather than larger national companies. Gilway said 40% to 50% of policyholders' premiums typically go to reinsurance costs, and Florida couriers are expected to continue facing a tight it is a facing a tight of reinsurance market a commentary released last week by the em best ratings agency pointed to reinsurers seeing loses in florida despite moderate hurricanes recent seasons further suggesting that current prices are not adequate to cover the claims, inflation, and fraud in the market. Consequently, reinsurers have been pulling back from the Florida property market or significantly raising prices. Pricing will continue to impact business plans and also companies' ability to use reinsurance structures with the adequate limits to protect against sev severe storms. The ratings agency said that EMPEST expects reinsurers to remain selective in the risks they reinsure, placing further burdens on the Florida and also homeowners market which has seen for property reinsurers along with a Louisiana based insurer that wrote policy in Florida and is declared insolvent since late February so as we know that insurance is important for most american but most of american did not know about this and they may know but they were a little bit don't care about insurance because they think that 
their life will coverage. So I think it's important to all of us, especially in Indonesia, um, to learn about all of, about insurance. That insurance will help you when you are in the problems. And of course, it will be um, effects on your life too. So thank you for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hi. Hey. Welcome to my channel and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Today I bring a topic about insurance delay making bad situation worse. Lawyers say delay by insurance adds to claimants distress more than 2 million Australian have experienced physical and or sexual violence from a partner. For many this is a sobering statistic and for Carol, not her real name, it was her reality. She suffered debilitating physiatric injuries after her domestic partner tried to run her off the road when she was a pedestrian. He later committed suicide in their home. Carol had worked at Woolworths but could not return to work because of her injuries. Like many Australians, she had paid for disability insurance through her super fund for years. As with many policies, Carol stated that she would be considered disabled if she could not find a role bearing in mind the education, training, and experience she had. For the purposes of her disability insurance, her medical specialist verified that she could not work again. But when Carol made a claim Melissa O'Neill, a special counsel at Shine Lawyer, which represented Carol, says the insurer unreasonably delayed her claim, showing no sensitivity to her situation. When O'Neill talked to Super Consumer Australia, Carol case had already been dragging on for more than six months. The main problem was that the insurer was mechanically seeking information that was not relevant to the question of whether Carol met the policy's definition of disability and should receive her money. O'Neill had contracted to insurer with this concern. After talking to us, the insurer finally decided to settle the case with Carol, but O'Neill says it should ha never have taken so long. There is an insurance code of conduct, but it is only voluntary. O'Neill says an enforceable code of conduct around claims handling would absolutely improve the experience of claimants in a case like Carol's. There is an insurance code of conduct, but it is only voluntary. Just last year, industry lobby groups decided to scrap a code of conduct that could have helped improve how insurers and super fund threat claimants by introducing enforceable standards. Both the Productivity Commission and Banking Royal Commission had recommended also it is recommended by the industry adopt an enforceable code. There are some guidelines in the voluntary life insurance code of conduct can that talk about claims handling specifically for domestic and domestic violence victims and we would suggest that the insurer's claims handling process has not abated by those state O'Neill so this is all about if Carol or it is not her real name she was get some injury for um, like abusive stuff from her partner
and she needed an insurance but the insurance did not help her at all or she, the insurance itself just abandoned her when she needed and so she cannot back to work because she is have a disability to work and when the insurance when she need the insurance the insurance not help her and just abandon her for no reason and it is hard to make her claim i think it was not fair and it was not depending on humanity so i think we should take a lesson from this story so thank you for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe